So next we have Hermetic Refrigerant Motor Compressor. Now the definition of this is a motor, compressor, or both in the same housing without an external shaft or seal with the motor operating in the refrigerant. All right, so we're talking about air conditioning equipment mainly. Um, and air conditioning equipment is kind of funny. It's one of those things that you, you know it when you see it. You can look at it and say, yeah, that, that's air conditioning equipment. But why is it important that we have this definition and how does it work in the NEC? The important part is that the motor is operating in the refrigerant. So you have normal motors that are regulated in Article 430. And then you have different requirements for motors that operate inside of refrigerant, a hermetic refrigerant uh, motor compressor. Now, why is that? Well, mainly because the heat involved in such a motor is going to be a lot different than a typical motor. One motor is operating inside of coolant. So overloads and over temperatures are going to be a bit different for that type of motor than it would be for a motor that's not operating inside of coolant. Let's take a look at the code book really fast and we'll, we'll look at article 440 and I want to point out just a couple of things that it's important to know, not just the definition, but kind of how it applies in the NEC. So article 440, air conditioning and refrigerating equipment is what we're talking about. I always, always, always like to read the article scopes. Uh, this article applies to electric motor-driven air conditioning and refrigerating equipment and to the branch circuits and controllers for such equipment. It provides for the special considerations necessary for circuits supplying hermetic refrigerant motor compressors and for any air conditioning or refrigeration, uh, refrigerating equipment that's supplied from a branch circuit that supplies a hermetic refrigerant motor compressor. Okay, so we know what Article 440 covers, but, but here's where it's really important. Let's scroll down to 440.3, Other Articles. A, Article 430. Uh, the provisions in Article 440 are in addition to or amendatory of the provisions in Article 430 and other articles in the code which apply except as modified in this article. All right, so if you have a motor that's regulated by Article 440, you still have to comply with Article 430 except as, as amended in this article. So some of the things like uh, branch circuit uh, uh, ground fault and short circuit protection and overload protection. You're gonna have different requirements in 440 than you are in 430. So we would have to follow article 430 except where 440 amends it. This part is really important, subsection B. The rules of 422, which is appliance, uh, 424, which is fixed heating, or 430, of course, which is motors, uh, apply to air conditioning and refrigeration equipment that does not incorporate a hermetic refrigerant motor compressor. Okay, so at my house, I have a furnace, right? It, it's not regulated by Article 440. It's regulated by Article 422. It's an appliance. But where this is really common today is when we have a ductless mini split system. So we'll have the compressor on the outside and we'll have an air handler on the inside. How does that work as far as code applicability? That's a, a really common question that I get. And the answer is found in 440.3b where it says other articles. So outside you have the compressor unit, the, evapor the, uh, the compressor. That needs to comply with article 440 because that is air conditioning equipment, the motor operates in the refrigerant, that is definitely an Article 440 application. But the unit on the inside, which is just an air handler, is an appliance. So it needs to follow the rules of Article 422. Now, where this really becomes tricky is the disconnecting means requirements for them. What are the rules for a disconnecting means? Well, you would go to Article 440, right, for the, outsor the outdoor unit and 422 for the indoor unit. So let's take a look at 440.14 and determine what the disconnecting means are for the outdoor unit. Okay, I've moved over to 440.14 and that gives you the disconnecting means requirements for equipment regulated by Article 440. And it says the disconnecting means must be located within sight from and readily accessible from the air conditioning or refrigeration equipment. 
uh, it can be installed on or in the air conditioning or refrigeration equipment as long as it's not on panels that are designed to allow access to the air conditioner or refrigeration equipment or to obscure the equipment nameplate. Okay, so you need to have a disconnect. It has to be within sight, and that'll be the topic of the next video, by the way, the definition of in sight from and within sight. So outdoor, we need to have a disconnecting means. We all agree with that. Some motors have exceptions for disconnecting means that allow you to use a disconnecting means that's not within sight as long as it's lockable in the open position. Well, for air conditioning equipment, you really don't get that exception. That exception is there, but it only applies where? Where the refrigerating or air conditioning equipment is essential to an industrial process and a facility with written safety procedures, condition of maintenance, ensuring qualified persons. Obviously, a house doesn't you know, satisfy those requirements. So you have to have a disconnect at the outside unit. That is 100% a fact. What about the inside unit? Well, I mentioned that the inside unit is covered by Article 422. So let's go to 422.31 if I'm not mistaken. We're going to find out if I am mistaken here very shortly. And I got lucky there. 422.31. What's the disconnecting means requirements for the air handler that's inside of the house or inside of the building? Well, 422, part three, disconnect, general. We move down here to 31. For appliances rated not more than 300 VA or 1 8 horsepower, it's probably not gonna fall under that criteria. So let's go ahead and go over here to appliances rated over 300 VA. For permanently connected appliances rated over 300 VA, the branch circuit switch or circuit breaker can be permitted to serve as the disconnect if it's within sight or if it's capable of being locked in the open position. So it doesn't need to be within sight as long as it's capable of being locked. If it's a motor operated appliance rated over 8 horsepower, it's pretty much the same provisions. The disconnecting means must be within sight of the appliance or capable of being locked in the open position. Okay, so what does that mean at the end of the day? What that means is you need a disconnect on the outside for the compressor unit. Make sure that that disconnect out there is lockable. That's all you have to do, right? As long as you buy a disconnect that has a lock hasp on it so that you can slip a padlock on it, then you're done. That outside disconnect satisfies the requirement for the inside disconnect for the interior unit. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.